By the end of my senior year in high school, I had scored a 5 on all 14 of my AP exams, scored over 1,500 on the SAT, and became a National Merit Finalist. All amazing feats for a high school student. But these scores came at a cost. Due to my test anxiety, I skipped meals, declined my friends' offers to hang out, and did not actively engage in extracurriculars. Looking back, it was not worth it to sacrifice my health and well-being for test scores. I have since learned how to do well on exams without making these unhealthy choices. I do so by implementing various stress management and test-taking strategies. Today, I will share with you these strategies. My first tip to manage exam stress is to understand the bigger picture. Understanding the bigger picture means understanding why you are being tested. Professors typically test students to gauge learning in their classroom and to ensure students are keeping up with the content being taught in class. That means your professor is just trying to see what topics you have mastered and what topics you still need to learn. Thus, it is important to prioritize learning when preparing for an exam, rather than focusing on just getting a good grade. Remember, learning is a process, and there can be hiccups along the way. That means getting a bad grade is not the end of the world. In high school, I failed one of my physics midterms. When my teacher read the score range of the test, the lowest score was mine. Of course, it felt bad to be ranked last, but getting a bad score wasn't the end of the world. What mattered in the end was taking those questions that I missed and understanding why I missed them so that I would be prepared in the future. I know this can be a really hard concept to understand, and it may take time to fully grasp it. But once you understand it, it can, I can assure you that your stress levels before taking any exam will be much lower. This works because this idea effectively lowers the stakes of the exam. My second tip to manage exam stress is to plan ahead. Many students are stressed for exams simply because they do not feel ready for it. To manage this type of stress, students need to study ahead of time. Ahead of time does not mean two to three days before the exam. That would be considered cramming. The best way to prepare for an exam is to space out your learning over a longer period of time. Four to two weeks before the exam, you may want to start reviewing the material and making flashcards. Review the material little by little over time so that the information is retained. I typically make a Quizlet and review each flashcard every day for two weeks leading into an exam. As new content is covered over the weeks, I already know the older material so I can build upon that existing knowledge. Space practice is useful not only for your next exam, but also for your finals. Now, I will tell you some tips to use closer to the exam. The night before the exam, go to bed early. It is commonly known that adults should get eight hours of sleep each night. You might still be a little stressed before your exam, which is normal. That stress might cause you to take longer to fall asleep. To ensure you get enough sleep, go to bed more than eight hours ahead of your wake-up time. Morning of the exam, make sure to eat breakfast. Food is your fuel, and you don't want to be hungry during your exam. If your exam is later in the day or at night, then this also applies to lunch and dinner. During your exam, remain calm and attentive. A little bit of stress is normal. You stress is healthy and keeps you alert. Don't freak out if you see a question you can't answer. Slow down, take a deep breath, and read the question again carefully. You can always take a guess and come back later. So now you know the ins and outs of managing test anxiety. Managing stress for exams comes with practice. Don't feel discouraged if you don't get it at first. It took me years to get over my test anxiety, and even now, I am still working on it. Rest assured, you'll be fine whatever happens during your exam, and that a grade does not define your worth. Best of luck!